Hi, I'm Brianna Rose with the Mill City Times, and I'm here with Tim Clemens, the founder of Ironwood Forging. Great to have you here. Great to be here. So Tim, I'd like to start out with just learning a bit about your background and also your business, Ironwood Forging. So yeah, uh, I'm from Minneapolis, uh, born and raised. Uh, I did found Ironwood Foraging in 2017 in order to give people access to hands-on workshops, learning how to forage and to create stewardship to our natural places in Minneapolis and Minnesota. Um, I do have a degree in anthropology, specifically archeology. span So it's not really related, but the cultural aspect of anthropology really got me into foraging. Uh, it helped me learn about ethnobotany and ethnomycology, which you'll learn about those if you ever take a class with me or look them up. And yeah, that's kind of just how I got into foraging about eight years ago now. So um, we're in the winter season and in Minnesota, we all know it lasts a very long time. Are there any items that people can forage for in the winter? Yeah, there's quite a bit of things that you can forage in the winter. So you can forage for mushrooms whenever the temperatures go above freezing. It's always good to go out and look. Um, you can also look for certain trees that their fruits stay on um, well into the winter. So hackberries, it's a really common tree in Minneapolis Boulevard plantings. Um, very nutritious seed on that. Um, very easy to harvest and identify. Also crab apples. Um, they're at their peak right now. So a lot of people think they can eat crab apples when other apples are ripe. You're going to have not a great experience. Uh, but now is when you want to harvest them when they're kind of wrinkly on the tree and they're a very enjoyable experience. And then another one, kind of a, a rarer tree, is the Kentucky coffee tree. Um, that's like a little bit more of an advanced foraged item, but it's all it's a big payoff and it's really cool to learn about. I had no idea that crab apples were best at this time in the year because you're right. When you pick them normal apple season time, they are not good. Do yeah, you they'll have... dry your mouth out and it's not not a good experience, but now they're delicious. I, I learned something new. Um, do you have any favorite things to forage for? Yeah, it's hard to choose. Um, I forage for hundreds of different, different things, but I'd have to say in general, mushroom hunting is my favorite thing to do. Uh, mushrooms are very understudied. Um, it's not uncommon to go out and to discover a new species right here in Minnesota. Um, the map of like mushroom distribution in Minnesota is virtually blank, like severely understudied. You can go to any county in Minnesota. And if you go through the proper channels, you can be the person that discovered a certain mushroom in that county. Um, also, it's like treasure hunting. If you are following a path of golden chanterelles under the shadow dappled light of an oak forest, it's honestly like following the yellow brick road or just gold coins spilled on the forest floor. And they smell like apricots, so it's just a wonderful experience. That sounds very interesting and very fun to go and do, if you have the knowledge. Which brings me to my next question. You offer classes. What kind of classes do you offer and how can people sign up for them? Yeah, so I think the best way to learn how to forage is to do it with an expert. It's a lot quicker than learning from books and it's a lot safer because sometimes understanding that's in the books doesn't actually translate to a person's understanding. And so that's why I offer classes um, and we go through identification. Um, you know, we look at similar species. So someone's never gonna pick the wrong thing and hurt themselves or hurt someone else. I offer classes from May through November and I offer some winter classes um, like for maple syrup and, and whatnot. But you can go to my website, which is www.ironwoodforaging.com or my Facebook by the same name and then Instagram. And I'm at MN Forager, one word. Thank you so much for sharing this information with us, Tim. Um, I think a lot of our viewers would be very interested in taking a class with you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me, Brianna.